Hi everyone, so it is currently nighttime and I was like vlogging earlier today, but I ended that. I posted it, if you guys want to go watch that, I will leave it in the eye. But I actually went to Target because I needed to, I changed my sheets while well, I'm in the process of washing my new sheets. Because it's getting really cold and I wanted like a flannel textured um, bed sheet. I just want it to be warmer for me at night, it's freezing so... I didn't have any, went to Target, bought some from Casa Luna. They're like an oatmeal color, so they're really nice and neutral. But I'm going to show you what I bought from Target because I got a little bit of things, not like crazy. But yeah, anyway. So the first thing that I bought was this waiver from Bedhead. The Surf's Up Waves, two times term... Okay, basically, it's like a bigger sized barrel. Like, it's not going to give you as tight of a wave. My sister actually took that one with her to college. And she didn't leave me anything, so I bought myself this one. A ver si me gusta. Comes with a glove. Ooh, okay. So this one is like ombre and it's like a soft matte touch. Like the NARS packaging. And yeah, I'm so excited to test it out. I actually need to wash my hair tonight. But yeah, I'm excited to test it out and see how my hair looks like after I use it. So again, it's from Bedhead. And then I saw that there was some kisses in the flavor of candy canes and I love candy canes. Like I love anything menti and I was thinking that would be so cute if I put them in my like touch up kits. Anything like Christmassy will make you happier I feel like so maybe I could do that for my clients. And then I saw this really beautiful like Barbie pink long sleeve and it's like very basic but I really liked the color. It made me happy just seeing it. So excited to estrenarla. That's a Spanish word I can't find an English translation to. Uh, estrenar means to like wear it for the first time. Like there's not just one word for it. It's like a freaking sentence in English. <laughs> okay, last but not least, I told you it was a short haul. I got the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow Liquid Filter and I got it in the shade Light. Yes, no, Fair. They had a fair and then they went straight to light medium and I just think for like the tone that I wanted I think fair looked more appealing to me. I'm so excited guys. I've never really purchased the Charlotte Tilbury's like full size flawless filter for myself. I do have one in my kit but um, like the one that I bought for myself is like a really tiny one and they say it's a dupe so I'm really excited. It looks very similar. This is the shade three fair and then this is fair so i'm really excited i actually don't have any makeup on right now let's try it out oh also let's try out these chocolate candy cane oh it smells like peppermint oh it's so cute oh mm. and it has like chunks of candy cane in it it's like a peppermint bark but like in the bite size form. I think it's a little bit bigger than the Charlotte Tilbury one. Doesn't smell like anything really. My face already has like a bit of a sheen from the um, skincare I had all day. I heard that this one has like a bit more like actual coverage compared to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Talking about like glowy things, I always like kind of didn't want to like this <laughs> because it's a little expensive. Um, it's a super goop glow screen and I feel like this is so good and it gives me that effect that the Charlotte Tilbury gives me. Like the flawless filter doesn't have SPF, there's no beneficial like effects to it, but this has like SPF and it's glowy. So I think I will repurchase this in the full size because I do love the glow. But then Elf came out with this one, so... But yeah, it's really nice. I like it. I might even purchase more for my kit because I'm actually like running kind of low. While we're like talking about makeup, nighttime talks with Gigi. Okay, so <clears throat> y'all follow me on Instagram, which you should. If you love makeup, I'm a makeup artist. I have a whole makeup page and literally that's all I talk about on that page, obviously. And I literally could not help but purchase this palette. I feel like this is perfect for anyone who loves neutrals. A bridal makeup artist it's such a great palette from makeup by mario and 
you guys already know that I love the Cosmic and Space Cowboy single eyeshadows from Urban Decay. Those are like their um, single eyeshadows that I love using on top of any eyeshadow look. And that is like kind of the same vibe from these. Um, they say it's limited edition, but I don't know if that's true. They also said that about the Patrick Ta blush palette from last year. So when oh, talking about eyeshadow palettes, I actually did not talk about this just because I know um, this palette is like so expensive, but it's by Danessa Myricks. I was really debating getting this palette just because I was like, do I really need it? It's so expensive. I'm not going to use it every day. But as a makeup artist, I always find an excuse and Danessa Myricks never disappoints me. Her eyeshadow formula is really good. People are very controversial about this palette because some of these shades like this one and this one are very hard. Um, you have to like literally kind of scrape the top and activate them with water for them to work. But other than that, this palette is so pretty. I know you guys want me to swatch them. I already feel you guys saying that. I literally used these on a quinceañera tambien and she looked so good. But yeah, like they're super buttery. You don't need a lot. Um, let me show you these. They The middle ones are very different. Like the textures, they're kind of like chunky. Um, You see how you kind of have to like find a way to make them work for you. I feel like these are more like too layered. While these eyeshadows, ooh, look at that. Um, I don't know how to swatch these. They're so pigmented, so easy to like blend out. Like, I barely put my finger in those shadows and they're so creamy. Like, whew, look at this one. This one's like so pretty too. Okay, and then let's do this one. This one looks like a dragon egg to me. But yeah. I'm obsessed and I'm so excited to test this out on myself personally. I already use it on someone else. Guys, look at this color right here. I feel like it matches my eye color. So this eye, I was playing. This is not how I would actually do my eyeshadow. I'm just seeing the tones. So this one is Danessa Myricks. And then this eye is Natasha Denona's My dream palette i just wanted to see the colors on my eyes i haven't had time to play with them so this is what i'm wearing on this eye over here i'm using the shade babies and serenity just to like give myself two tones on the lid this is babies and this is serenity like over here and then this color whoa i love it so much it's called zen so it's like the like green olive yellow giving me those fall vibes this is her in all her glory there she is good morning it's like a couple of days later and i am actually getting ready to go to birmingham to get my hair cut finally i've been trying to get a haircut i had to whip my sponge sorry yeah so ooh, i'm so pale yeah so i'm finally getting a haircut and I'm so excited because it's been since summer, like over four months now. I think I got it like in June. So it's been a while. My hair is way too long and it needs a trim. Like there's so much dead ends at the end. It's not dry. I keep it moisturized. But at the end of the day, hair is going to split no matter what. You need to trim your hair frequently. But yeah. I'm going to do my makeup really quickly. I actually want to get a Starbucks. I, I don't know how that's going to make me feel just because I haven't eaten anything. But I'm not like going to work or anything. I'm just going to be sitting down. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's not a good combination. Caffeine with sitting down. I prefer that than me like working and having anxiety because of the coffee. Um, but I'm going to try the sugar cookie. I've been wanting to try that. So I will update you if I do go. Okay guys, I finished my hair, what? I finished my makeup. 
I just did a very simple look. I love this one so much more than the intense one. This is the, um, oh my god, wait. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> um, okay, sorry. Um, this is the uh, Libre Toilette. So this is like the lightest one out of all of them. I had the um, intense one and that one so intense, I could not wear it. Um, but this one is like my favorite. It smells so fresh and I love it so much. It smells like a flower but warm and I love warm florals. It's like my scent. I've been loving my bag. By the way, this is like so convenient. You want to see what I have in there? So quick little what I have in my Lululemon. So I have a Buxom Gloss, a tiny Merit Beauty lip oil, and then my tiny Laneige lip balm. And then on this side, it has like tiny little side pockets in there. I have a poo spray, you never know. Ah, I bought this recently at Ulta because I thought how cute it was. It was so tiny, it's travel size. And then I have my Liga and then my phone. And I'll put my keys in here. I usually leave like my phone in this bag zipper. I'm just trying to get out of here, so let's go. All right guys, so I just got here to the salon. It's actually right behind me. I got here like 10 minutes early, no, 20 minutes early, but I'd rather be early than not. I did not stop at Starbucks because I was like, I'd rather just get it on my way back um, so I can have energy after um, because I do feel a little like antsy, so I don't need to add to that. Um, I didn't know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm actually getting my hair cut with um, an old cosmetology friend of mine, Hope. She went to school with me back in Nevada, and um, she like lives here, so I was like, oh, I need to get a haircut. Like, So yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't gotten my haircut in a salon in a while. Siempre me cortaba el pelo with like my mom's hairstylist, so I feel like I'm trying to find my stylist, you know, but we shall see. I think I'm gonna ask for um, long layers and some framing pieces. I always ask for the same thing. Um, I like my hair in the front to be like around here. It's crazy because that's like where I cut it last time, like around here. And now it's like way down here and it's been five months. And then my hair on the bottom, I'm thinking maybe like two fists. So whatever that is because it literally goes down to my waist when I sit down. So. That needs to change. It's too much hair. Everyone's telling me not to cut my hair too short, but it's my hair. Sometimes I always kind of want short hair, but I think I will reserve that for when I'm a mom. You know, mom hair. I think that will look good on me. Will I ever color my hair? This is my original virgin hair, by the way. I've never colored it. And I've been tempted, but at the same time, I barely like going to the salon to get my hair cut. So I can't even imagine the maintenance for having your color, like, looking fresh. Because you can't just leave it for months and months. Like, unless you get, like, something super low maintenance. Which, if I would ever do that, maybe something, like, super not that noticeable. But I like my hair color. I don't really mind it. Um, sometimes I do want like framing pieces here or whatever, but I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Who am I? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Hope killed it. I feel so much lighter and the hair is just like perfect. The perfect length. And yeah, she curled it like so differently from how I would curl it, but I love it. I feel so Instagram-y. But yes, Hope, thank you so much. I love it so much. I'm going to leave Hope's Instagram handle here on the screen. If you want to follow her, if you're like in the Birmingham area, she works here at the 43. She works at Salon 43.1 and it was such a cute salon too. So yeah. And they used Orbe on me. Orbe? I can't pronounce it, but so I have like really expensive shampoo in my head. Today was like my wash day, my hair wash day. So it worked out in my favor. So I'm going to check if I can find like a Starbucks near here. 
actually also met Haley. Um, I I've talked to Haley through Instagram only, but I finally met her today. I will also leave her Instagram here. Um, it's nice to meet people that you've always followed on Instagram in person. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like surreal. I like fangirling a little bit. Okay, I like how I'm looking for a Starbucks on Instagram. Like, what the heck? Okay, bye. No, just working. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold <laughs> some for that. That stuff is so good. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a coffee person, but my sister's like, go to Starbucks and try it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a very good coffee. So I'm excited. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You have a blessed day. You too. Thank you so much. Excited. I'm going to park so I can, like, talk to you guys. I'll park right here. Okay. Ooh, I probably parked really ugly. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have to move now. Okay, so I got a sugar cookie with the cold foam on top and it looks really cute. So let's try it out. It has like little sparkles on top. The lighting is really bad here, I'm so sorry. Mmm, it's good. Very holiday. I said medium. I know, that's not how you say it. It's grande. Like, I really like it when my coffee doesn't taste like coffee. I like it when it tastes like creamer. I'm a creamer girl. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the studio. I actually have to pick up my kit. I have a quinceanera tomorrow, yay. And um, I forgot that I had left all my brushes laying out from the other time that I washed them. So now I have to pack them up and then pack my kit so I can have everything ready for tomorrow. I'm getting ready for work. I um, decided to wear this shirt and a turtleneck because it's freezing. I just have to quickly put my hair up and then leave. Oh, Mr. Nietzsche, look at my doggy. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Say hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hey guys, so I literally just got out of the um, quinceañera's house and I killed it, I must say. She looked so good. Her mom and her are literally sweethearts. I love doing quinceañeras. I feel like at home just because like I'm Mexican, duh. Pero tan linda familia and they were so, so kind. They even invited me to la fiesta, guys. So um, now I'm gonna head home and I have to start cleaning my kit. But yeah, um, I'm a little hungry, not gonna lie. I'm a little thirsty. I was even helping her to put on her dress. I was like my mom. My mom loves helping people out when she's in parties that she's not even related to. And ahí ando yo arreglándole el vestido con la mamá de la quinceañera. I'm like, bro, I'm like turning into my mom. But I'm gonna head home, guys. Okay, guys, so I just came finished everything I had to do, like clean my kit, and um, I have a trial tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing here. I have it all set up so when I get here in the morning, I don't have to like really 
fix it up. It's already done. And then these are the brushes I am laying out to dry. But yeah, pretty much everything is good for tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm home now with Mr. Nietzsche and we're on the couch. I think I'm gonna put on, if I'm not mistaken, I think Disenchanted just came out on Disney+. Plus. I loved that movie when I was little because I always thought my name was like, you know, no one else had it and I was like so impressed that they named her Giselle in the movie. Even though they call her Giselle, I hate, not hate, I just don't, I kind of just cringe a little when people call me Giselle um because it's not giselle it's giselle it literally has an s in it but anyway i'm gonna watch that and see well let me see if it's even on here i'm so excited uh but while we're watching a movie on disney plus i'm gonna export a bunch of the footage from this vlog because this vlog i feel like it's gonna be a little long i don't remember what how i even started it that's how long i feel like it's gonna be i'm so tired guys i'm so sleepy the movie is out. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Oh. A ver qué tal. No, 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 no. We're on TV. Look, that's my sobrino's little play corner over there. How cute. <laughs> 